so good. Everyone's so drunk and not paying attention. This is what I want. Yeah. Can I get a more boring comic for the second half? The most exciting thing in my set is this. I'm the most vanilla guy you've ever seen in your life. If I'm buying ice cream, I don't even get French vanilla. I just get vanilla. I grew this beard to give myself an edge. Okay? This is about as good as it gets. You know, and I used to not be able to grow a beard, and then I grew the beard, and then my worst fears came to life when I shaved the beard, and then I went to work, and I'm in my office, and every girl at my work knocks on the door and is like, Hey Adam, you need to grow that fucking beard. <laughs> You look weird as shit. You look like Ed Sheeran and like a market pantry Harrison Ford. You look like a five-year-old dad. Go dip your face in Rogaine and get the fuck out of here. So here I am. Got my beer back. I'm doing all right though, I have a girlfriend, believe it or not, yeah, for me! It's going pretty good, guys, except we did take a road trip the other day, and uh, she was driving, I was in the passenger seat, and I made one little comment about how bad I had to pee, I was like, babe, I gotta pee so bad, I'm about to do it out this window, and she's like, don't you go sticking that little dick out that window and let it flap around in the wind! You guys don't know what my girlfriend sounds like. <laughs> I had two questions. How does a little dick flap around? <laughs> Picturing more of a flutter myself. Like one of those streamers attached to a fan that just broke off. Now that little piece is just violently going, you know? And the second thing, what do you mean by a little? And she's like, you're always mincing my words. <laughs> little, that's a pretty straightforward word if you ask me. <laughs> She's like, you know when I say little, I mean cute? I'm like, ah, cute little penis, we're making some headway, yeah, right? She's like, what, you want one of those big dicks that hurt me? I was like, yes! Of course I do. I think every guy I can admit, like, when they get a girl in the room and they take their pants down, they want this reaction. I can't do this. <laughs> If that ever happened to me, I would promptly go home and just be like, that was sex. <laughs> Definitely sex. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're trying to keep uh, the romance alive. We're doing really good, I guess. I don't know. How do you, you know, when you're living with somebody, you get really lazy with the sex. Uh, you know, now, basically, this is what happens. Every night, we go to bed, we get under the covers. If she's not passed out, which, when she does pass out, it's just a ventriloquist dummy that hasn't been taken out of its box yet. <laughs> and you can't have sex with a sleeping person. It does not work like it does in porn. <laughs> it never does. <laughs> But like, she, she's she gotten lazy too, so like, I'm just like laying there, she'll just kind of like move her leg over and start rubbing it on my leg. I don't know if you've ever had two shins grind against each other. <laughs> Fucking hot stuff right there. Just clacking bones all night long. Nothing turns me on than being reminded that I'm a skeleton. Our life. You know, I, I mean, I'm not going to trade her in, but if I was, <laughs> I would trade her in for someone who didn't have bones. I just want the soft and squishy parts. That's what turns me on. Like, I would... Jigglypuff. I would want Jigglypuff. That's what I want. Just a big, fluffy, pink Pokemon. I'd fuck the shit out of that thing. I... Oh... God. <laughs> Guess what? We did, uh, I did propose. We got engaged. Woo! You guys don't 
know me. <laughs> you don't know her. I could be the worst person in the world. It's going to be the worst decision of her life. Here's how I did it, though. <laughs> Tulsa Botanical Gardens. You ever been there? Is it a funny place? It's pretty funny. I got a laugh just from singing Tulsa Botanical Gardens. <laughs> that place sucks. <laughs> no, we're walking around. Everyone told me, you gotta film it. You gotta film it, Adam. I was like, I don't know how that works. Like, how do you have a cameraman following you around all night when you're trying to keep it a surprise? A lot of people are like, no, it can happen. I, can. I didn't know how to do it. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait for some passerbyers, that's what it's called, a passerbyer, and I'm going to hand my camera or my phone to them, and they're going to film it. Well, I see a couple finally, I'm like, hey, babe, hold on, I'm going to go ask this couple to take a picture of us. She's like, okay. I walk over there, I'm like, hey, man, would you mind taking a picture of us? Actually... I'm about to propose. Just film it. He goes, he said nothing, but his wife, dead face, poker face, we got you. <laughs> As if she's just been roaming in the botanical gardens, <laughs> waiting for this moment. Me. There'll be one day. A tall, pink, whitish fellow will come up to me and my husband. He will be with a girl that is way out of his league. He will hand the phone over to my husband and I will stand confidently watching them film it. They did not get invited to the wedding. I don't know these people. You know, I, uh, I get really insecure a lot. I uh, created a dream board one time. Is anyone familiar with vision boards or dream Woo! boards? Yeah. So here's how a vision board works. You put all the stuff you want on the vision board, you stare at it, and the universe just gives it to you. Because you're an idiot. <laughs> well, the only thing I want, I don't want money, I don't want cars, I want apps. <laughs> I'm a straight guy with a vision board with a bunch of shirtless dudes. <laughs> you better believe I got all the best abs up there. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, abs. Oh yeah. Ryan Reynolds, ooh, ooh, ooh. those are like eight abs. <laughs> Ryan Guzman, everyone always gets quiet on that one. Step up four, step up to the revolution. Best abs in the world. I don't know about abs, but I got a new boyfriend here. <laughs> His name's Ryan. Now, my girlfriend, she gets insecure too, because she's uh, well endowed in the breastoral region. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah. Tits! No, I'm sorry. She's got, she's got, she got big boobs, but she gets insecure, and she's, she's a little shorter, and so she, she looks at her boobs, and she's like, eh. Do my boobs make me look fat? Should I get a breast reduction? I should get a breast reduction. I was like, well, number one, you're beautiful. Anyway, you, you look. You can be a thousand pounds, whatever. I don't care. I love you. You got to get that one out of the way. <laughs> Second thing. If you're trying to lose weight, is the next option to just start cutting off body parts? <laughs> and third, I don't have that option. Like, if I'm getting fat, I'm not just gonna cut off my left butt cheek and be like, dropped a few pounds. Adam, you look good and weird. You got one butt cheek. She goes, well, what should I do with these things? More things. <laughs> Get creative with it. I don't care. I'll stick around. Trust me. <laughs> Those puppies can do whatever they want to do. Ooh, see, that was the one. I can say boobs, tits, but when I said puppies, people were like, that guy's a fucking dick. 